All right, YouTube, I'm going here. I uh, went out to Walmart tonight and got uh, three of the Realm of the Lights from Structure Decks. Figured, why not bust them open uh, so you guys can kind of get a ye gander uh, at what is in this deck. This deck is actually pretty broken for 10 bucks. Like, one of the best Yu-Gi-Oh buys uh, you can get. So, you get the crappy paper mat, which doesn't look terrible. Definitely doesn't look good. A uh, little guide, and then our heat dear easy stones. Basically, Lightsworn is now a $30 budget deck that you can just buy and have it be good. I mean, you'll have to buy a few extra things, but. So, of course, uh, Michael. Um, he is one tuner plus one or more non tuner light monster. Uh, once per turn, you can pay a thousand light points, target one card on the field, banish that target. Uh, and then when this card is destroyed, you can target any number of lights from monsters in your graveyard and shuffle them into the deck. And if you do, gain, I believe it's 100, oh, gain 300 light points uh, for every shovel card into the deck. And then during your end phase, you have to mill three. So, that 2600, uh, the new lights were in Sanctuary, uh, which isn't good. Uh, once per turn, you can send one Lightsworn monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target one of the Lightsworn monsters in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Uh, each time a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard, place one Shrine counter on this card. If a Lightsworn card you control would be destroyed, by a card effect, you can remove two Shrine counters from this card um, for each Lightsworn monster that would be destroyed. So, uh, it doesn't save Judgment Dragon, unfortunately. Of course, uh, we now have Minerva, uh, that level 3 tuner that does searching, which is really good. Uh, Raiden. Of course, um, he's the guy that lets you mill to have it be 2100, and he's a level 4 tuner, which is really insane. Um, Alexandrite Dragon, Common Judgment Dragon, Common Garganoth, Common Celestia, which looks really weird. Uh, Double Jane, Double Lila, uh, Gareth, Wolf Aaron, Two Lumina, Argus, Shire, Double Raiko, Honest, Two Light Ray Diablos. Violent Prism, Prison, which kind of needed it. Fabled Cerberal, or excuse me, Fabled Raven, Cerberal, Zephyros, and Necro Garden. Uh, Realm of Light, you get two of those. Uh, Common Slow Recharge, which looks ass. Common Charge, Monster Incarnation. Foolish, Glorious, Lightstorm Barrier, Vanquishing Light, Beckoning Light, Skill Successor, and then the Heat Dear Resistance, the Common Breakthrough Skill, which is going to be like five bucks for a very long time. Uh, so, guys, wow. A lot of good stuff available in one deck. If you guys are looking for a good competitive deck, buy three of these. Go to town, win some Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think they're going to do this for gear Uh Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu Gi Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.